The Beef Today Report is brought to you by CattleExchange.com, connecting cattle buyers and sellers nationwide. Grazing on winter wheat pasture is a common practice in the central and southern plains where snow cover doesn't last long, typically. But east of the Mississippi, it's not as common. As the University of Kentucky shows us, researchers are trying to determine if grazing on winter wheat can pencil out for ranchers in the bluegrass state. Jeff Franklin has the details in this report provided by the UK College of Agriculture. So far, it has been a pretty mild winter in Kentucky, but that doesn't mean there has been an abundance of grasses to graze. After all, it is still winter. But University of Kentucky Extension Beef Specialist Roy Burris and Extension Soil Specialist Edwin Ritchie are collaborating on a study to see if wheat might help fill the gap in winter. And in the cattle business, we say any day grazing is a good day. And wintering costs are so high as far as a part of keeping the beef cow herd that we feel like if we can get some grazing out of wheat, and not only will it be good for the cattle, it'll also be good for our pocketbook. And uh, we have to be able to do that. Burris has seen producers of both commodities in other states let the cattle graze the wheat in winter and thinks it will work in Kentucky. That's why he teamed up with Richie to conduct a preliminary study last winter and again this year. We feel, like, we feel like this is a very good option for kind of small or medium sized producers that are also running cattle. But some of the concerns are we have wet winters in Kentucky and we want to make sure we don't tear up the soil. We don't want to cause a lot of compaction. So that's, that's one of the things that you really have to watch. In order to prevent compaction, a two acre tall fescue pasture adjacent to the wheat field was used so the cattle could be moved on weekends and during wet weather to prevent compaction and yield damage. For this system you need another place you can put them when they're not grazing this. We're set up, we have what we call sacrifice or other grazing plots that we can put them on. And that is another key to this system, that and, another, and a water source. The researchers planted double crop soybeans after the wheat harvest last year and the soybeans did not have any measurable yield loss, which means soil compaction caused by grazing cattle may have been minimal. But it takes more careful management than feeding hay or grazing cool season grasses. Both Richie and Burris are encouraged from the results so far. When we start trying to graze as long as we can, then obviously winter, especially uh, February, March, uh, are problems in Kentucky. And if we could get something to graze for the cattle to graze during that period of time, it'd be a plus for us. And the key to the system for grazing is to allow the wheat to be six to eight inches in height before turning the cattle in and not letting them graze the wheat into the ground. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting. Our partners at AgWeb are also wanting to know the latest wheat conditions. Under the crop comments section of the site, agweb.com is encouraging growers to answer questions about how the wheat crop looks and current moisture situation. Just go to agweb.com and click on the crop comments section, or you can also